up YouTube boxing family or YouTube gaming family. Uh, it's K right here. I got a good little uh, quickie video for you guys today. Uh, shout out to all the Puerto Ricans that are watching us. Um, yeah, to all the Puerto Ricans that are listening in that love uh, any type of historical facts or just any interesting video um, that you know that revolves in any means of any informational content. Um, I found out in Dragon Ball Z there is a squadron in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, if I'm not mistaken, called the Taino Force. Um, I found this very interesting, and I'm not too sure if this is probably, um, how should I say, if this is probably in relation to the, you know, obviously Puerto Rican Taino blood, but I wanted to talk about this for any Puerto Ricans that are listening in. Or just people that just like to take a look at this for any lore for all you Dragon Ball Z lovers. This is the Taino Force of the Dragon Ball Z universe uh, lore in the video game. They were created in the age of 850 or 850. Uh, that's obviously like the timeline that Dragon Ball Z universe brings you to, leading into like the future. Um, I would assume after all the sagas were completed. Um, this is in Kantan City. Kantan City is technically the city of which time is basically uh, controlled by the Time Patroller, um, by the Supreme Kai of uh, Supreme Kai of Time. If you don't know who she is, she is probably one of the most strongest characters in Dragon Ball Z lore. She's a very, very strong character. Um, she has the ability to control time. Very similar to Kronika in Mortal Kombat, but the difference is that she has the ability to alter time, but she has the ability to manage her powers in a certain way to become a very strong character, if not a god in Dragon Ball Z lore uh, comics, or just lore storyline in general. So this is the squadron. This is called the Taino Force. Uh, the leader uh, is you know, Taino, which is funny. These are their members, Pima, Ukats, Eos, and Fear, or Fear If. Um, I don't know too much about the characters for these people, but basically they were in the incidents with the Demigra incident in the Time Miniature um, investigation. Um, if you don't know what this is, um, what ended up happening in this uh, particular issue, the Time Miniatures are special devices that were, um, Oh, okay. Hold on. Uh, yeah, the time miniatures were special devices that were located in floating platforms above Canton City. They were used to access large rifts in time. They have begun um, uh, um, appearing suddenly. There are five miniatures total, um, each leading to a different time rift that leads to worlds outside of Canton City. Um, in each rift, the warrior may encounter one of the current generation of the five Murasaki brothers who are investigating the rifts under the orders of the Supreme Kai of Time. Uh, depending on the warrior selected race, they will be investigated to select one of each rifts during the game's prologue and return later on unlock. Yeah, so basically this is more of like a time, you know, exploration missions. Um, what you did here in um, Dragon Ball Z Universe 1 and 2 uh, was mainly because of you, you know, protecting time because in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, this is now leading into the future that was in confliction with other characters that were coming from Dragon Ball Super leading into the Xenoverse comics or the Xenoverse lore. So, with the Taino Force, these people played a massive role in aiding with Trunks and your created character to protect time for the Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse uh, lore. If, like, you know, if that makes any sense. And for this character, Fu, he's actually one of like, the most evil characters within the entire lore, uh, uh, within the um, updates. But the good thing about him was that um, he was sort of good and evil, you know, in a certain way. He, some, he somewhat helped against, you know, the evil forces that he wanted to take down, um, you know, you know, with the certain realms that, that were obviously there, like, like uh, the Namek realm or uh, Planet Namek and all the other, you know, um, planetary kingdoms, right? So, I mean, if anything, there were lots of, you know, distractions, you know, coming from certain people within time frames, but I think like the biggest issue out of everything was just simply, you know, nobody's really able to do what they're supposed to do to be successful 
in what they did because you know time was always in constant battle between demigra uh mira and toa and all the other characters that we haven't even seen in the actual dragon ball series um you know lore that you've seen on tv uh the good thing about it is just that with this force the taino force they were a pretty good time patroller squad that also that also played a massive sport a massive force in um i guess like you know basically aiding as of the genyu force but the thing was is that they were a, a massive um how should i say they are the hero they are the heroic group of time patrollers who simply emulate the genyu force quirky sense of style mainly uh due to taino's influence as she is a fan of the uh, genyu force and i would uh, um i would assume that the character's name was you know taino so uh that's pretty interesting because it's obviously you know rooted to like the puerto rican you know taino indians but you know let's just take a look at their background the Taino Forest story begins with its founder and leader Taino, a female Majin who joined the Time Patroller sometime before in and around age 850. A fan of the Genyu Forest, the elite mercenary force of the Frieza Force and elite henchmen and evil galactic emperor Frieza, Taino sought to create her own model after the Genyu Force, albeit as a positive force for good rather than evil. Taino seeks to find recruits among her fellow Time Patrollers to join her team. Taino search. Shortly after the future warrior is summoned to Toki Toki City by future trunks, which to Shenron in uh, age um, 850, uh, Taino begins her search to find team members, uh, which a future warrior um, uh, can follow by speaking to Taino as they progress their time patrols, which serves as the main story. At first, Taino has trouble finding people in um, finding people interested in joining her team. It is implied that some are put by off Taino's desire to emulate the style of the Genyu Force formation. However, she does not get discouraged and continues her search. Eventually, she befriends several time patrollers, such as Namekian Ukats, Frieza Klansman, e um, Frieza Klansman Eos, um, and uh, the Saiyan Pima, and even a CC robot named Theorist. Um, uh, Ayas was a member of the Freezer race who enjoyed competing with the future warrior over their accomplishments before deciding to join Taino. Um, Pima was a Saiyan who, despite his warrior heritage, was a weak fighter, um, which caused him to become a loner, though Taino accepted him despite his weakness, um, uh, weaknesses causing him to become a, de a, a devoted to become devoted to Taino as a result. Yukat is an um, is a Namekian who thanks who thanks to 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 Taino was uh, willing to look beyond his preconceptions about members of the Frieza race and accept his new teammate Eos. Despite um, uh, despite his uh, inability to perform Goldo's pose correctly, Taino recruited Thierif. Uh, that she is willing to accept someone regardless. Yeah, hold on. Give me one second. All right, I'm back. So yeah, um, Ukats, he was a, a Namekian that was brought in by Taino, the leader. And therefore, um, I think as far as what this team is supposed to be um, emulating, they're, they're trying to emulate the Genyu Force. But it says right here... Um, Taino recruited Thierif, uh, showing that she is willing Mad to I'm accept someone production. regardless to whether or not they compose correctly. However, she politely refused the time patroller suit Thierif had found and offered her, as she preferred her cherished battle suit, Genny Force Black. Together, we are the Taino Force. The team Demigra became active shortly after the defeat of Demigra, or or, or uh, the team became active shortly after Demigra's, you know, defeat by the Future Warrior, uh, which is your creative character, by the way, for Dragon Ball Xenoverse uh, uh, 1, where you defeat Demigra in the first uh, Xenoverse game. And uh, leading into the, like, leading into the second game, it shows you that you had uh, defeated him. Um, he was uh, defeated by, you know, your hands of uh, defending the Time Realms. Um, yeah, so... Uh, they uh, often pose together near the team registration building. That's just part of the game that you see 
right by the time machine station. If future warrior types with talks with fear, he will give them the time patroller suit he had previously offered to Taino. Um, Taino herself um, became good friends with Future Warrior, that's who created character by the way, that's just a codename, even attending Elder Kai's ritual to, uh, to unlock the Future Warrior's potential, uh, though like fellow Time Patroller, um, Time Patroller's Mepha and Recon, who also attended the ritual, she eventually became bored with how long it was taking and left. Interlude. The Taino Force continued to serve the Time Patrol, which was forced to recruit more patrollers, to deal with the outbreak of rips in time. Eventually, Toki Toki City, um, Toki Toki City was accidentally destroyed by the dragon that um, Tirona, um, uh, Tirona had created while trying to dispel rumors uh, regarding the power of, of divine being such as herself, but grew larger than expected to. However, the Taina Force and the rest of the Time Patrol survived. As a result, a newer, larger city named Kanton City uh, was built over the ruins while the dragon was relocated to the skies of the north of the new city meanwhile their old friends the future warrior um became a legendary time time patroller known as the toki toki city hero who continued to to work alongside future trunks to thwart the plans of, of the time breakers who remained at large after demigra's defeat uh the universe 2 time miniature investigation by age 852 taino es pima ukats were assigned to investigate the various large risks contained in the time miniatures. Taino and ES were sent to do a undercover investigation of Frieza's spaceship, much to Taino's joy as it would give her a chance to meet uh, the Guinea Force. While ES were, uh, was more focused on their mission to learn the, rift, uh, the cause of Rift, even competing to see who would discover the cause with the new future war who was investing investigating during their time during their free time pima was sent to investigate majin buu's house though he was not thrilled to be separated from his teammates although he did sympathize with good buu's desire to um, alleviate his uh, loneliness meanwhile yukats was sent to investigate guru's house giving him the chance to visit his people's ancestral homeworld namek and like yes was focused on discovering the cause Rivalry with uh, Cresso's armor squadron while Taino, while the Taino force is off duty in Kanton City. Uh, the current future warrior discovers that the, the, that the Taino force has, has uh, developed a rivalry with Cresso's armor squadron, a group that emulates the style of Cooler's armor squadron, whom Cresso is apparently a fan of. Cresso claims that his group was around long before Taino force, though. This claim is somewhat dubious as he did not appear in Xenoverse 1. The future warrior can learn various different fighting poses, post emails from both teams with the Taino Force poses being those of the Genie Force, while Cresso's armored squadron poses are based on the poses of Salsa, Salsa, Dor, and Nia's. While the two groups are rivals, it is not as serious as the rivalry between the Genie Force and Cooler's armored squadron. Yukats is, is even curious about the the, uh, about the rival team poses and tells the future warrior, future warrior to show him one mainly to satisfy his innate curiosity. Meanwhile, Taino is still trying to boost their team's notoriety among the time patrol and once again to see Mr. Satan's pose, which she is quite popular at the moment, hoping it can serve as inspiration to emulate the champion's successful popularity. Meanwhile, the other members uh, require the warrior to demonstrate Taino pose to prove that to prove uh, they are a friend so yeah that's pretty interesting um yeah you know shout out to all the bariquas out there so technically um you know the taino name still lives on in the dragon ball z universe um that being a female leader so you know if you don't know in the taino culture there were several leader chiefs uh chiefs that were females and uh what they called them they called them areto um areto is just a symbolism of a female chief um that was the name that taino said labeled you know some of their chiefs that were females but i find it very interesting because what really showed out of this entire skit of the storyline is that um i don't know who wrote this this type of lore but if it's probably coming from japan um definitely shout out to them shout out to um akiri toriyama uh, shout out to everybody out of the entire dragon ball z uh lore team uh this is very interesting that they had used the uh, Taino, you know, Puerto Rican name branding to make this uh, little squadron that is um, a part of the Dragon Ball Z universe. And I found that uh, very interesting to, to share that with you guys. 
and um yeah hopefully you know for anybody outside of the puerto rican you know um historical social circles or just anybody that loves history that just wants to talk about you know this uh, little video game lore at a dbz that has a pretty interesting you know uh puerto rican taino um historical you know connection to it please share it um i will have uh, the uh link copied and yeah i will definitely have this uh, posted in my uh, storyline so please go check this out on the youtube channel and i hope you guys enjoyed it and long live puerto rico aka Boricán, and uh long live uh, taino nation so i'll see you guys later and uh peace love freedom and happiness long live taino see you guys later peace out bye